Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Ready DC. Got another knife review for you today. A Kubi knife review. And for the most part, I have been loving these little Kubi knives. A lot of people have been, I mean, Jimmy Slash has just been blowing them up all over the place, which is cool. I know uh, Frankie and Bird just did kind of a massive Kubi unboxing. I think that was yesterday, as a matter of fact. So, I got a little Kubi knife here that I want to kind of show everybody. This here is the Kubi KU101. See there you got black and red G10 scales. Little G10 backspacer there. Stainless steel liners. Got a stainless steel pocket clip for right hand tip up carry only. Got a three and three quarter inch closed length on it. See there you do have a lanyard hole and they do have your little glass breaker on there. It is a manual flipper and a liner lock. Once you got it open, that little guy's got a 2 and 5 8 inch 8 CR14. They call it a drop point blade. It's kind of drop point reverse tanto ish type. Satin finish. 2 and a half inch cutting edge on it. Not a whole lot on the blade, just your Kubi logo there. You got a six and three eight overall open length on it. Yes, of course. This little guy is made in China. We'll get some specs on it. Pretty, pretty light little knife. Not too bad. So let's see here. Start out in grams. We'll go at. 72, decided that's where it wanted to settle out, 2.5, 2.6 ounces, kind of right in there, not too bad at all, it's a good little knife, carries pretty easy in pocket, that's our width there, 0.46 thickness, and width in the pocket we're looking at 1.06, so not too bad at all. Pretty cool little guy. Now my take on the knife, guys. Now, it's not a bad little knife overall. Not, not the most impressive Kubi that I've had. And the reason I say that is because, I mean, for the most part, it flips pretty well. There is, you'll get an occasional fail to flip, but it's not going to do it now. I mean, I'll sit here and flip it. Oh, see, and that could have been me too. It didn't quite make it. Yeah, it didn't quite make the lock up there. And that could have been me, you know. But for the most part, it's not a little, not bad. Now, when I say impressive as well, is the G10, well, not bad. I mean, it really it isn't. You've got some, you've got some rough edges there in the, in the texturing of the G10. You know, where you've got the black cutouts there. I mean, it's not terrible. Now, it feels really good in hand. I can get a really good grip on it. There's no jimping on the blade, but you do have this jimping back here, which grabs my hand pretty well. That G10, that G10 is super grippy. I mean, these fingers are locked in on that G10 back here. It grips your hand really well. Now, as you can see there, there's pretty much nothing left over. 
So you guys with bigger hands, you know. Well, you can see for yourself. <laughs> there is a spot for a lanyard hole. Um, back here in the hand, if anybody's wondering, no, the glass breaker isn't poking me. It's not a hot spot anywhere. I don't remember if I said tip up or tip down, but it is tip down carry. I want to make sure I clarify that. So, I mean, the scales just aren't as refined as they could be. But then again, when we talk about price on this knife, I mean, you're talking, it, it caught, you get it on Amazon for a little over eight bucks. So, as far as the under $10 knife, Blue give it an 8.5. He says it's a pretty darn good little less than $10 knife, and I have to agree with him. Which, and the val, there we go. We talk about value. The value of a knife for, let's say, eight and a half bucks. Yeah, your value's there in my mind. No, it's not fancy. It's not super whamodyne. You're not going to be able to chop down trees with it. You know, you try to baton something, it, bl it might blow apart on you. But then again, you got to realize that it's probably not what it's made for it to do. Just a little light carry knife. 8CR14. Yeah. Sharpen it. And keep sharpening it. Because it's probably not going to hold. It holds, holds an edge okay. Not great. I mean, it's 8CR. I forgot. Let's see here. The lockup. No play. No. No. Um, lockup is pretty good. Let's see if we can show you that there. Mm, that's probably... I had it in focus there once, and now it's not good. Yeah, I'm looking at... Oh... 40. 40%. So it's got a pretty good lockup on it. I just like what Kubi's been doing. They've been making, you know, I still swear by the little 088. I don't, you're not, in my opinion, you're not going to find a better less than $10 knife than the Kubi 088. That's, that's just me though. But I just kind of wanted to take a look at these you know, less expensive Kubi knives and just see what they're all about. And I tell you what, Kubi is starting to do some really, really good stuff with their knives. Like they're, you know, they've been, they've been called the cheaters, the copiers, all that other good stuff. But they're really starting to do some good stuff with their own designs. And I'm really happy to see that form. Great titanium S35VN blade steel knives for 80 bucks. Pretty darn good. But anyway, that has been my review of the Kubi KU101. As always, guys, don't forget to check out Big Red EDC on Facebook. And until next time, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, guys. Please, I love talking to y'all. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.